So, good afternoon, live vets. Am I saying your name correctly? No, live vet. Yeah. No, okay. live vet. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. my God. Thank you. It's Thank okay. you for correcting me. Live vet. Oh, All you right. Are, are Ayaris. Ayaris? Ayaris? Ayaris. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. We both have a Y. <laughs> right exactly <laughs> all right so thank you levette yes levette correct yes. all right so can you just state your name um and also your team name and the name of your film please okay um uh, my name is levette uh i am sasson productions and my silent film is, film is called uh greed dot at the end and yeah that's the name of my film yeah so <laughs> rookie mistake right my mm -hmm. first question is, have you ever made a film before? If yes, have they participating in this film challenge compared to making that film? And if not, what motivated, what motivated you to join the challenge? Um, yes, I have. I created a film before. It was like me and a bunch of my friends. And I did a lot in like college. Like I would rather go like that route a lot, um, like the creative route that gave us the opportunity and chances. But um, me and my friends never got to like finish like finish it and make it like official but it was like an awesome like story plot and everything but it just never went through so i'm I'm really excited that it, this actually went through when you know it, it happened you know yeah you had a final product and exactly. i feel that like I've, I've had a similar experience where my one of my first films i never got a hold of it i never got to get a physical copy like not a right. physical but like a digital copy where i can watch it and it hurts because I'm like, I never got to see the product and you put yeah. so much work into it, you know? Present. Only like in college, um, I just had to do like a solo project and I did that all on my own. And my professor really didn't like it. And so I like, I had to fight and show her like individually, like this is a really good film. And then she ended up like changing my grade and she really liked it. She watched it like on her own. And like, she just changed her mind. But she gave me almost like a failing grade, but then she moved it up to like almost an A. So that, I guess it was that was from, weird. Yeah, from presenting it <laughs> to comparing it to like watching it on your own. But yeah, I guess she didn't see the because I didn't get to show her the whole full film. The whole film. Like so yeah, that was a whole wow. other thing. Yeah. Wow. I'm curious mm -hmm. about that. Like yeah, I'm always curious yeah. about like experiences like film departments in like colleges. Like I'm always yeah. curious, but I'm that that'll be that'll be a conversation for another time. But thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So now my second question is, um, what about participating in a 48, 48 hour phone challenge? Was that your first time participating first in time. the challenge? Yeah. And yeah. now to end, to follow up with that is how did the time constraint affect, affect your creative process since it's not your first time? Oh, um, it was tough because it's hard to think of a storyline on the spot. And I set up like hours trying to create like what is like, Cause my thing was a silent film and yes, that's easy. But at the same time, it's like, how do you, how do you tell your actors like to act with emotion where there's no, like you can't hear what they're saying or anything like that. So that was like one of the hardest part, like directing that and editing the film a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So would you say that the genre and location that you picked that random affect that then? What's yes. it, what's it, I know that you said the genre. What about the location? Location was nice. Like, I'm not too far away from there. I really actually like the, the, the park that I chose, like, by current concourse area. And I'm always around that neighborhood. So, like, that was pretty easy. Yeah. All right. So, th that wasn't the challenge part. The challenge mm -hmm. where it was doing a silent film. That was your first time working on a silent film. Exactly. Never done a silent film ever in my life. Or even a black and white film. Wow. So, okay. Yeah. So now I, I'm going to ask, what was the inspiration since this was your first time we're doing a 40 hour film challenge, working on a silent film? Um, yeah. What was the inspiration? Because I know you had to like sit down and that was one of the hardest parts. What happened right. in that moment? Where did that inspiration come from? Ooh, um, well, I, I don't know what it is, but I get my inspiration a lot at night. I don't know why, like, especially like my creativity process, like at night, I watch a lot of movies and TV shows. And I guess like the Metrocorp um, product, like the, that's what we had to use. I was like, how do I make it spicy? How do I like, I track the audience to like, well, that's actually really creative. Like, what can you do? Make a story about a Metrocorp and how can we implement that in the story, in the film? So I think that that's where it came from. Like just me watching a lot of films and like writing out, like, oh, this sounds good. Oh, this sounds kind of whack kind of thing. Yeah. Are you a are you a night owl? Yes, I am. 
so that's why I don't like the mornings I don't I think <laughs> I can't creativity even, at night yeah. yes at night at night but I'm a photographer too so like if I want to start a project it's the same thing like it's at night when I'm thinking about these things yeah yeah, and it's like especially if you already have like a job throughout the day yeah at the end of the day it's like when do you make time for your craft exactly um, you have to find it and i'm glad you're finding space even if it's at night however it works for you but i'm glad you're finding time for your craft yeah exactly thank you so much all right thank you for answering my questions um and let's see last but not least all right what advice would you give to an aspiring filmmaker who's interested in perhaps or considering the 40 hour film challenge next year what is the advice you would give to them um just do it don't even think twice about it i think it was super fun just like just bringing everybody together like my friends and yes they were confused but like i think for me i like to sometimes i like to work under pressure so I, i'll just say just do it and you know, you never know who you're going to encounter, who you're going to meet, because this is just a great opportunity overall. Like, this is not always a thing in the Bronx. And I love that you guys are doing this for us, for the art people. So um, just do it. Represent, like, always. Yeah. I love that. That was, like, a perfect way to end. She's like, just do it. Represent. Do it for the Bronx. <laughs> exactly. Do it for the Bronx. Like, why not? I, I love this. Like, seriously, yeah, we need to do more things like this, like indie films and independent films uh, here. There's not really enough theaters here in the Bronx. So I completely agree. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, thank you, Levette. 